Jeff, let me ask you, you know, from a cross-examination perspective, you know, when we go to court, usually we're in and out. In other words, you know, we're attacking and we're focused on a number of theories. For example, investigator, you do accident reconstruction, did you not? And you did that in this case. And you made certain assumptions based upon that, right? For example, you measured the drag factor. You testified it was that friction. And in fact, if your equation was off, the speed of the vehicles would be off. Isn't that true? And you go through the long list. What do you think? I mean, has the defense made crossroads in your view, Jeff, in terms of maybe, you know, allowing the jury to know that maybe Snellgrove is not all Snellgrove is really tied up to be? What do you think about that? I don't. I think that they've, you know, frayed a little here and there on the edges, as you do in cross-examination, but made nothing that says to me that they've got a winner here and they better do something uh, in their case. Uh, he seems to be uh, forthright. He's going uh, according to the book. He's not, do he's not saying anything that makes him sound pompous. You know, he's a death by order investigator, a vehicular homicide investigator. That's kind of special. Um, and uh, <laughs> you, could, you, you could make him look pompous in some circumstances, and he hasn't come off that way. And so I, I don't think the defense is doing very much. They're talking a lot about the seatbelt. There's reasons for that, again, because, you know, the more uh, of an accident there is uh, here, the more he's injured the defendant, the less the observations mean much. But it's just around the edges, Joey. And, you know, and that's, it's critical because what you want to do, you don't need edges. You need to focus right that's on right. like a laser beam here. And, Jeff, you mentioned something significant. You know, and Mike and I were talking about this, and we could talk about it again. Mike was talking about how he's plain spoken. The jury likes him. He builds up a rapport. I mean, that's significant, Jeff, is it not, with regard to whether a jury evaluates your testimony, believes in what you're saying, and credits what you say? I do think so. I think he's matter of fact is the way I would say it. Uh, and I think that that's building the state's case block by block. I think the defense is not uh, really attacking it in a way that a jury understands what their point is. There's a point, right. you know, to be made around the corner. Maybe they'll take some of these facts together in closing. But it's not becoming clear. They're not hitting it, as you said, like a, a laser uh, and making it very clear to the jury what the defense is in terms of this witness anyway. And you need to do that. You need to have a theme and you need to hammer it with every witness. Absolutely.